This is the Motorola Moto G Play 2024 disassembly. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. Also, if you need any tools, there are links in the description. Before we start, the SIM tray needs to be removed. We can see a black rubber gasket around the SIM tray. Now heat needs to be applied to the back plate using a hairdryer or a heat gun to loosen up the adhesive underneath, and then a pry tool can be used to pry the back plate off. Here's a better look at the plastic backplate. There are 19 Phillips screws which need to be removed. Now a pry tool needs to be placed in between the back housing and the frame of the screen and round along the edges to pop off the catches. The back housing is also made of plastic. The camera lens cover can be replaced by applying heat and prying it off. So you don't need to take apart the phone to replace that. There's also some graphite film to help transfer heat. Looking at the other side, we can see some antenna flex cables on the top and bottom. There's additional graphite film over the motherboard and the speaker assembly to help transfer heat. The battery cable can now be disconnected, followed by the rest of the cables. The coaxial cable can be disconnected by just popping it off. Looking at the main board, we can see a secondary microphone on the top, the 50 megapixel primary camera, the LED flash located below that, a liquid damage indicator sticker, which is that white sticker, and a headphone jack on the top corner. On the other side, we can see the proximity sensor and the eight megapixel front facing camera. The camera connectors can be disconnected by just popping them off. There's additional graphite film and copper tape on the back shield to help transfer heat, as well as some thermal paste. The SIM and memory card reader is located underneath the graphite film and copper tape. Once the shield cover has been removed, we see additional thermal paste on top of the processor and RAM. Here's a better look with the thermal paste removed. Here's a look at the bottom speaker assembly. When it comes to removing the battery, there are no pull pouches or pull tabs provided to help you pry it off. So you need to use some isopropyl alcohol and apply it to the sides of the battery and let it sit for about 30 seconds to a minute so it eats away at the adhesive underneath making it easier to pry it off.
Here's a look at the 5000 milliamp hour battery. So if you needed to replace the screen, you would have to remove the back plate, the screws on the back housing, you'd have to disconnect the battery cable and the screen cable, as well as this cable which connects the subboard to the main board through this flex cable, and then you'd pry the battery off. You would heat up the front of the phone where the screen is to lose some adhesive underneath, and then you'd pry the old screen off. Apply new adhesive, reapply the new screen, making sure you run this flex cable back to opening in mid-frame, as well as this one. And then you'd reassemble the phone. There's a single Phillips screw holding down the subboard. Taking a look at the subboard, we can see a rubber gasket around the charger port. There's a liquid damage indicator sticker, which is that white sticker. And the primary microphone is located underneath the shield. Here's a look at the other side. The vibrator motor is located on the bottom corner. The flex cable for the volume keys and power button is located on this side. If you need to replace this, you just have to peel it off. And the earpiece speaker is located on top, which is also held down with some adhesive. To replace that, just gently pry it off. There's also another liquid damage indicator sticker located on the frame underneath the sim reader. For the repairability score on this phone, I give it a 5 out of 10. Now it's time to put the phone back together. Once everything is back together, apply new adhesive and reapply the back plate. Flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.